friends, welcome back to another vlog. So this morning I'm outside of our grocery store picking up a few last minute things. I'm headed over to Aunt Missy's and her and my mother-in-law and I are going to make a family tradition. Uh, we make this on Holy Thursday. It's called Fryon. It's a Grandma Fortunato's recipe. And uh, we have so much fun doing it and spending time together. So I will absolutely film that today. Um, just because it's part of part of our Easter tradition. And I know when you guys are seeing this video, it's going to come out on Easter. But this is something that uh, you guys can make any time of the year. Truly, it's so delicious. And I know Mark loves it and um, Uncle Dave loves it. So whenever we're all done and God rest, uh, God rest their souls, my father-in-law and um, Uncle John would always come over as well. And they would... Um, love to join in as all the fryon came out of the oven but uh it's gonna just be a wonderful wonderful time and it's always something great to look back and think about um when all the family got to be there and just reminds us that when there are certain traditions um to in, in, enjoy them and um create new memories but also be able to go back and reflect on past times with family. So I'm looking forward to it. So let's go get my seatbelt on and head over to Aunt Missy's. Okay, so the dough is ready and we've got how many doughs, balls here? We have 14, 14, 14 in each bowl. In each so bowl. My mother-in-law is gonna start to roll out the very first one. Missy, do you wanna explain what we put in these? So we are going to make some with grated potatoes that have pepper and onion in them. Okay. There's um, spinach, sauteed spinach has garlic and just some seasonings in it. And then hot hot sausage. Hot sausage. And then we put the Pecorino Romano also On in this, with, with okay, spinach. in with the spinach. And then we'll put a few of them with some, um, right here, some crushed red pepper. And we'll show you our secret on how we know which ones have it inside. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got some rolling to do. Missy's going to start getting the potatoes. Um, you're going to finally like I'm just grade them. grade them. Yes. And then we're going to get rolling. some of the finished spinach and sausage and some potato. So we've got a lot more yet coming out of the oven. These aren't lined up yet to go into the oven and there's a bunch in the oven. So these make, let me see, 24, is that right? Uh, 14, 14 so 28. See my ugly ones, my messy ones compared to my mother-in-law's are so perfect. <laughs> They all taste the same. That, they all taste the same. That's true. <laughs> friends so from Archie and I this morning uh, first of all yesterday we had such a great time Aunt Missy and my mother-in-law and I making oh. the fry out it turned out wonderfully sorry Archie sees a car driving by and he's growling a little bit um, it was wonderful uh, I brought some home from Mark he was going to make it over for lunch and wasn't able to so I brought some over and he was so excited waiting for me to bring it home um, and unfortunately we had a funeral to go to last night, so I didn't video at all or film. But this morning, we're going to head to Pittsburgh. I'm going to take a ride with Aunt Missy. She needs to pick up something and I told her I'd come along for the ride. Uh, we're going to go to Ross Park Mall, which is probably one of the few malls that I enjoy going to because I feel like 
most of the malls, there's not much left with them, you know, inside as far as stores that I enjoy going to. So uh, we're going to do that today. And then when I come back home, I think we're going to do something with all of our friends tonight. I have not seen them because we were out of town last weekend. So I'm looking forward to seeing everyone. I don't, I'm not sure what we're going to do. And then tomorrow we're going to get all the things that we need for Easter. I want to make an Italian Easter pie. It's a regatta pie. So if you are signed up for my newsletter, which I hope you are, if not, I have the link in the description section. I did share the recipe. Uh, so in case any of you wanted to make it, you would have like uh, a couple days to get the recipe and get the ingredients to make it uh, for Easter. So anyway so that's what we've got going on and i gotta set the table and all that stuff so i want to set it really cute and get you guys some kind of spring ideas too so if you're just having any get together during the spring season not just easter so we're going to be doing that as well over this weekend but other than that i'm going to go ahead and get a coffee to go because i've been drinking this yummy blueberry muffin coffee it tastes so good um i'm out of my strawberry cream i'm very sad so i'm gonna have to order more i hope it's still available um, but anytime I find some spring coffees or anything like that, I like to share them with you. If you guys like those kind of coffees, uh, let me know in the comment section. I really want to know, um, cause when I share certain things, I want to know like, well, who's really interested in this? <laughs> so, uh, let me know. Uh, I think if you guys haven't tried this, this is a blueberry muffin. I think it's from maybe McCaff, like, you know, the McDonald's brand, um, that you buy K-Cups. Really delicious. All right. I'm going to take you know who out. We're gonna get ready to make a to-go coffee and head to Pittsburgh. I had a wonderful time in Pittsburgh with Aunt Missy and when we got home, I changed my clothes and I decided I was going to jump right on in and make my regatta pie. Now the original recipe does call for the dough to be more of a sweeter dough, but because of time I decided to get a frozen Marie Callender's pie crust and I just sprinkled a little sugar on it. Uh, this recipe is so simple and honestly I cannot wait to try it out on Easter Sunday. Sunday. Next here I am making this beautiful tulip centerpiece and I may just end up keeping it here on my island but it's with fresh tulips and what I used were three glass vases. Um, of course my round vase and then I used a glass cylinder. Um, I didn't have any vases that fit perfectly that had a base to them so therefore I had to get a third glass vase and flip it upside down um, to end up putting my flameless candle on it but as you will see this turned out so beautifully and what a just a nice way uh, to display your tulips. <music> getting the vegetables ready for our roasted vegetable dish for uh, today. So we got some sweet potatoes and a regular small red potatoes cut up in some cold water just to prep a little bit early. We got our clean carrots and asparagus. And then I got my little bits uh, bowl here for stuff that I'm going to freeze for a future broth. And then we're gonna cut some onion too. Happy Easter, my friends. He is risen. What a glorious day. So we are ready for our family to get here shortly. I've decorated the table and Mark and I have prepared this morning all the vegetables uh, to roast them. We're gonna make a refreshing salad. We've got the ham in the oven. Aunt Missy's bringing the delicious lasagna. And then the rest of the family will be here uh, in about an hour. We're gonna go pick up the moms. Uh, we just had a nice visit with Allie and Jake and uh, just had some little appetizers and just spent some time together. Uh, but uh, I'm just, uh, just I, I get so excited anytime we have the family gather together for the holidays, making special memories. And I surely hope that that's what you are doing today with all of your family. And uh, so whenever this gets out to you sometime tonight, I hope that you are uh, have your tummies full of some delicious food in celebrating so i just wanted to just say hello and happy easter i'll show you my table 
And then as the food uh, gets ready to come out, um, it's always good to do a little meal prep. So Mark and I were great with getting all the vegetables cut up and ready to go. And uh, I cannot wait to try my delicious regatta cake. And uh, I think Aunt Missy's bringing a dessert and so was one of our cousins. Uh, so we're gonna have plenty of sweet treats to enjoy with family as well. But um, well, I'm gonna show you real quick, just a very simple tablescape, but I think it looks really pretty and uh, springy. And my centerpiece that I made yesterday for you, it's funny because the tulips are actually starting to open up a little bit and it looks even prettier today. Also, I wanted to share with you, this is the dress that you all picked out for me to wear here on Easter. Um, dress number two was pretty close, but I love my Hill House dress. You can see, got the ruffles, but I do, oopsie. <laughs> I do have a sweater on, but be quite honest with you, as everyone starts to get here and we're in the kitchen cooking, I may have to take the sweater off, but I love my Hill House dress. It's so flowy and beautiful. And again, I wanna thank all of you who helped vote uh, on my dress on this very special, glorious day. that you all had a blessed Easter with your family. I love you all so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also to my weekly newsletter. And I'll see you next time, friends. Bye-bye.